to the microwave. I'm Arneel. And I'm Deborah. And today we're going to be cooking corn and pea fritters. To start, these are the ingredients that you'll need. Half a cup of whole wheat flour, half a cup of cornmeal, three-fourths of a teaspoon of sea salt, half a teaspoon of chipotle pepper, one-fourth of a teaspoon of paprika, one-fourth of a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of baking powder, one-fourth of a cup of water, half a cup of unsweetened soy milk or rice milk, three-fourths of a cup of uh, fresh corn, and three-fourths of a cup of fresh peas. So then you'll grab your mixing bowl, and we're going to put all the dry ingredients in here. Now all I have to do is whisk it. Then we take our wet ingredients and stir those in. What we want here is a nice, even batter. Alright, so now we can take our peas, just put in a little bit here so that we can fold that in with a spoon. Let's add in some of the corn here. And now we're ready to go to the stove. What you'll need is some type of skillet. We're going to use cast iron, a spatula, oil, so we're going to use safflower oil, and a sheet with paper towel or napkin on it to absorb any excess oil when you take them out of the skillet. Okay, so we just put oil in the skillet, just a light coating on the bottom of it. We're going to turn the stove onto medium-high heat and we're going to let it get nice and hot. Okay, so now the skillet is nice and hot and ready to start. What we do is you're going to take a nice heaping scoop of your batter, okay? It's gonna, it, it naturally just falls off like that. You just make sure you don't drop any anywhere you don't want it to go. And you drop it in here and you kind of flatten it. And you're gonna do that until you have your skillet nice and filled up. I usually can fit four fritters in at a time. Be careful in case it splashes back at you. You don't want to burn yourself. Sometimes you get a little bit too much. Just make sure you don't get splashed, but it will splash back. And you let them sit for a little while and 
until the bottom is a nice golden brown. You kind of got to eyeball it at first. Usually it takes maybe a couple minutes, but it depends on how hot your oil is. Okay, so what you want to do is, okay, you got to start with one and see if you think it's getting golden brown. Obviously this one wasn't quite ready enough yet. It's okay, don't worry, there's no mistakes with cooking. You just learn that the next one needs a little bit more time. Okay, thinking this one is about ready to be flipped over. Ah, see? Now the heat is a little bit uneven because we have this darn electric stove, but it was getting a little bit too brown on that side, so you don't want them to burn. That's the thing you don't want. Oh, yeah, see? But I adjust my skillet a little bit for the next round. Because the outside of them are burning a little. But still good. It tastes good either way. Okay, so I think this guy has been in the skillet long enough. We flip him over just to make sure. He's a nice golden brown on both sides, hopefully not too burnt. And he's good. So I'm gonna bring him over here on for a little drying rack. Look at all that oil coming off of him. Okay, so I went ahead and took the other ones out of the skillet because they were all done and I put a new batch in. I also turned the heat on the stove down a little bit because it was a little bit too high. You can kind of tell when you're cooking them yourself if it's too high. And you just gotta keep an eye on them because you don't want them to burn. When they look like the edges are getting a little bit crispy and a golden brown, you can tell that they're ready to flip over. This will be my second batch, so that's eight fritters so far, and I probably maybe can make two or three more, maybe. So I'll have maybe 10, 11, 10 to 12 fritters with this batch, but then again, it depends on how big of a fritter you make. All right, so the fritters are all done. Uh, usually we have it with a really good whole grain. So we have a whole grain here with some lentils, and we're just gonna go ahead and dig in. Mm. This is good. I'm excited. Ready? Cheers. Mm. Oh. So good. Oh, that's so good. You're gonna love this. Mm -hmm. 